Hey guys, it's Liz, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to get better at planks. So if you have ever experienced any wrist stuff going on, or maybe you wanna get better at your push-ups even, this video is going to teach you a couple of the exercises that you can practice at home to help yourself develop that core strength over time so that you can hold your planks longer, so you're better in yoga, so maybe you can start moving into your arm balances and things like that. So I'm gonna teach you a couple of different progressions and things you can do to make your plank better. If you like this video or you wanna see more tutorials about how to get better at fitness things, make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button so that I know, hit that little notification bell, and leave a comment down below if there's something else that you want me to make a tutorial about, about how to get better at these fitness skills. This is something that is a skill, so it's not something that you're naturally born with. And anyone at any level can practice these things to get better, to get stronger, to be fitter, to be happier, and to be healthier overall. So I'm so excited to share some of these moves with you today, and I can't wait to get started. First things first, we're gonna pop down onto your mat. Make sure you do a quick little warm up. You wanna warm up your arms, your shoulders, your wrists, all those types of things. You do a couple core movements, get your spine moving. And then we're gonna actually come into our four point position, stacking your shoulders over your knuckles and then stacking your hips over your knees, tuck your back toes. And the reason we're getting into this is because I want you to practice your scapular control. So I want you to sink down into your shoulders and then press the floor away. It's easier to do it when you are not in a full plank and load bearing. So we're gonna sink again and press the floor away. It's a very small movement, but it's going to help you start to understand how to activate those scapula, your shoulder blades. Okay, so this would be a sunken one, not good. And then this is doming of your upper back, very good. So what you want in your plank is for that doming to be happening where you're actively pushing the floor away. So you can practice these and do these a few times, maybe even put this in your warm up as you get ready to do any load bearing in the arms. Good. Eventually over time, you'll start to be able to slow and control your movement of your scapula. Good, making sure you're keeping your core engaged slightly here as you do this movement. And then try not to sink totally down where you lose complete control. You wanna always maintain control. So you're gonna do a few of those. Good, and you can start to pick up the speed once you've got that control. And you'll notice that my grip here, my finger pads are gripping down into the mat. Finger pads gripping down into the mat, pressing my index finger knuckle down into the mat as well. And it's not just one or two fingers that are gripping, it's the whole hand. So I'm actually grabbing the ground as I do this. This is gonna really help you in your plank. I can't tell you how many times I see people do their plank and their hands are basically dead weight, which means they're pushing every all of that pressure into the wrist joint, which is not good. What we wanna do is to activate the hands and actually grab so that you're using the muscles on opposite sides of the wrist muscle or of the wrist joint. You don't wanna actually load bear into the wrist, you want gripping into the ground. Good, so that's the first exercise you can practice, scapular control. The next one we're gonna be moving into is actually going to be up in your plank position. Now, to make your plank a little bit easier, you can take this into a wide plank, okay? That's gonna to help to distribute your weight so that your lever is a little bit shorter, making your plank a little bit easier. Or if you're ready to go into a full plank, you can come here. If both of those things are too hard for you, you can also set your knees down here, but just make sure you keep your tailbone tucked and your booty squeezing. So the second move that I have for you is actually going to be a rock side to side. So whether you're in wide plank, you're in regular plank, or you're in knees down, you're going to just rock side to side, and you can play with different leg variations if you want. Again, making sure you keep your hands gripping into that mat. Good. So as you rock side to side, you're gonna feel the load bearing shift from one arm to the other. This is going to help you find your center of gravity so that over time you can know, okay, I am stacked or I'm leaning on more on one side than the other. So I usually do this a couple times as I move into the plank to really just find my lateral center of gravity, making sure that you're load bearing on both of those arms equally. We're gonna go back into whichever one you were at and then we're gonna go forward and back. So forward and back, again, still gripping the ground. I'm grabbing the floor. I'm actively grabbing the floor. Don't just have dead hands here. You need your hands engaged. We're just gonna go forward and back. We're going forward on our toes and then pushing back into the heels. Good, you're gonna do that a couple times until you get fatigued. Once you get fatigued, go ahead and come out, do a couple shoulder rolls, maybe shake your wrists out. Now would be a good time for an opposite direction stretch of the wrist. So you're gonna press the backs of the palms down into the mat. Spread your fingers nice and wide. This is one I always love to do because it's so good for your wrists and the forearms. You're gonna grip your fingers in and release. 
Just making a couple grips there. Try to keep your arms straight. A lot of people don't have this type of flexibility in the wrist. So if your wrists are way up here, that's okay. Don't bend your elbows just for the sake of getting the backs of your palms down on the mat because then see what happens is angle changes. We're not getting that wrist stretch. So what you're gonna do instead is keeping your arms straight. You're going to press and then over time, you'll notice you'll get closer, closer, closer to the floor and eventually you can put your hands down on the floor, but don't bend those elbows. Keep the arms out straight and then go wherever you can go. If this is it, this is it for you today. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You gotta build up into it over time. Good. So again, you can stretch that out. You do the same things here, forward, back, lateral, side to side. Come back, shake that out. Do a couple quick wrist circles. And then we're gonna drop down into your forearm plank. The focus for this move is to really start to build up the endurance and the strength of your actual core. When you're down in a forearm plank, you are going to have much more of a challenge to keep your hips low. So you're gonna just hold this one here. That's it, nothing fancy about this. Make sure your shoulders stay stacked over your elbows. This is gonna really help you to learn what it's like to squeeze your butt, squeeze your legs, pull everything in toward your midline, pull your pelvic wall in and up, pull your belly button in toward your spine, keep your shoulders stacked, keep a neutral neck. You don't wanna be dipping your head down like this. You want a neutral neck. Pretend you have a pencil underneath your chin, so a slight tuck of the chin. Good, and then same thing here. You can go a little bit laterally, or you can test out forward and back to make sure that you're staying stacked with a 90 degree bend in your elbow. Good, so you're just gonna hold, 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 pull that belly button in and up. Don't let the lower back sink into the ground. You wanna really pull those abs in and up so that you keep your lower back protected. That is the number one thing to work on. Last but not least, let's work on your grip strength. If you have one of those little, like a tennis ball or one of those stress balls, that would be a really good thing to use here. But the reason again, is because the main thing that's gonna help you besides building up your core endurance and your core strength is to work on that grip strength. The reason why is because gripping the ground is going to help you with all of those arm balances, including your plank positions. If you have a tennis ball here, that'd be a great thing to grab. But if you don't, go ahead and just take your arms out. You can just pretend that you're gripping something as you flex your hands in and out. Okay, so you're just gonna do this over and over and over again. If you want more wrist strengthening exercises, I will link you up to the best wrist strengthening exercises that I know of down in the description box below. Make sure you check that video out. It also includes this grip strength challenge. This is one of my favorite things to do because you can literally do this anywhere, anytime, except for when you're driving. Don't do that. <laughs> Throw this in at any time. You can always be working on your grip strength and you could go for as long as you possibly can. You're gonna start to notice over time, after a little while, it's gonna start to feel like your grip is getting a little bit slower. And I want you to think about flicking your fingers out at the same time as you're grabbing in. And notice when you flick out, it's a different muscle in your forearm than when you grab in. When you flick out, it's more on the top of the arm. When you grab in, it's more on the bottom of the arm. Okay, so you're practicing both of those, making sure you're working into the entire forearm. This is gonna really help to strengthen up those muscles and make your planks all better. Rip the ground when you're in your plank. Trust me, it's gonna be a game changer for you if you actually grab that ground and hold on. Hold on, honey, because you holding that plank forever. Go ahead and shake that out and move right along with your day. If you practice those little exercises here and there, I guarantee you in no time your planks are going to be 10 times better than they were before you started practicing these things. The last tip, the last exercise that I have for you that's going to help you with your core control and with your planks is this one right here. So this is the advanced version. I don't want you going into this until you've mastered your plank, your forearm plank, and those other exercises that we just went through. Otherwise, what you're gonna do here, when you are ready and you feel like you've mastered those things, then you're gonna start to walk your feet back, walk your feet back, 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 back. And this is tough because I wanna stay on the mat and you're going to stretch your body out nice and long, but keep your core engaged. This is going to be like an overstretch. You're moving and making your lever even longer so that your core is going to start to strengthen over time. Now to come out of this one, you're going to just simply walk your feet forward to stack over your knuckles and your wrists and then come out. So one more time, you're gonna practice these a few times and hold them for as long as you can. You're gonna just walk your feet back, 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 making sure you stay on your mat if you're on a mat. You don't want to be hands on the mat and feet off the mat because you can push your mat out and fall flat on the ground. But what you're doing here is you're pulling your shoulders down away from your ears, pulling your belly button in and up, and then stretching. And you'll feel this in your core right away. It is on fire. And then to come out, walk the feet forward, stack the shoulders over the wrists, 
set the knees down and you're done. So let me know how it's progressing for you, how those planks are coming along, if these exercises are helping you. And again, if you need more exercises to help strengthen your wrists, make sure you check the link in the description box below. I will link that video up for you down there. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planking. I'll see you next week. Bye.